What I do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with living in Australia versus living in the USA. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Where we go? <laughs> I remember when we first got there, we I got into the um the dry the passenger side which was the passenger side for me and i was in the driver's seat and so oh. i was like whoa this is different and so we had yeah. to switch because it's on the other side of the car and the other side of the road yeah you definitely that's definitely just a big difference that i feel like you it would take a, a, just a tad bit of time getting used to from walking over to the passenger seat walking over to the driver's seat knowing which one's which you know on the right side of the road well you're not driving on the right side you're driving on the left side so it's yeah it's it's very different that's very different so that was a big difference going around there's a lot of roundabouts so you have to go the other way and so driving was kind of hard at the beginning to get used to i feel that um the houses there there's nice houses and then there's where the missionaries live because <laughs> we, we can handle it you know and so <laughs> there's nice houses then there's where the missionaries live <laughs> i'm not gonna say nothing bad about it but i'm gonna say then where the missionaries live because you know we can handle it <laughs> that's dope that's dope the the flats were they're pretty nice they were okay. well taken care of and they were okay for a couple transfers. It's really expensive over there. Mm. So if you want to like go buy milk or bread or anything, it's more expensive than here in the U.S. Yeah, I feel like for that Australian to, to Australian cost of living, you got to be making that Australian money. You can't be making that U.S. money and live over there in Australia. <laughs> You got because I, I, Australia be paying their people good livable wages, and so you got to be making that Australian money if you want to uh, stay in Australia. I feel like bread or anything, it's more expensive than here in the U.S. Um, like eating out was expensive. Getting they call gas petrol, so getting petrol was expensive. More expensive. And so if you're wanting to like buy souvenirs and stuff, it's like. You have to have more money for that. Well, gas Jeez. was different because they do it by liters. And so yeah. it'd yeah. be like a dollar fifty a liter. And so you have to transfer that into gallons. Hey, that's like four liters per gallon, right? That's like, right? Or am I wrong? I could be wrong. I could feel stupid right now. If I am right, that's six dollars a gallon, which is insane. But if I'm wrong... I'd say around four, four fifty, maybe. I bought just an Australian sweatshirt when I was coming home because you have to have one, and it was like. Was it four quarts per gallon? Maybe four. L. I think I was wrong, guys. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I apologize. We're not. Yeah, I'm, I don't have an excuse, so I'm just gonna let her keep talking, and I'm gonna. In sweatshirt when I was coming home because you have to have one and it was like $70 for just a pink jacket that said Australia and so if you want spending we money <laughs> take a little bit more now nah, we do that here in America too we, <laughs> we do that here in America too um, but and it's also because Western Australia is like so far away from anything else like Sydney and Brisbane are all pretty close together but yeah. because everything has to be transferred out to Perth that's why everything's expensive because you're by yourself out there I and and also everyone is over there not only but most of them are over there because of the mines there's a lot of mines in Western Australia and so they make more so everything's a little bit more so it's kind of hard for missionaries because <laughs> we're out there just working, not making, but it. Yeah, that, I mean, you can't, you got to give respect to missionaries. You got to, you got to definitely, right, give them their props because they're out there doing the Lord's work and they're not getting paid for it. And uh, 
Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you. It is important to help the people be humble and realize that this will, the gospel will bring them more happiness than any item and things like that because it is a nice place to live. There's a lot of um, public transportation, so a lot of buses. Sometimes the missionaries would even have a bus pass to get to and from like zone meeting or zone conference. And there's also trains that go along the whole Perth coast, like the whole Western Australia. So you can take a train from the very bottom all the way to the top, which is nice if you don't have a car. Hey. <laughs> you can it take trains. Sense. Sometimes the Australians like to tease Americans. Ah. <laughs> and so they like just because everyone knows about America they pick on us and like assume that we're a certain way because of the movies and so just don't take things too personal <laughs> nah, they like they like to be jokesters but that's I mean, like like kind of like me uh, I've seen in videos that's like how you know like they're cool with you like they're friends with you I feel like anyone who can like pick on you you know if someone's picking on you in a joking manner or just messing with you uh, you know, if it's a joking manner, it's like they just don't like you. And I feel like a lot of Australians, I mean, they just got a great sense of humor. They like to pick at you. They like to joke with you. Uh, and you, like she said, you just can't take it personal. You just can't take it personal. And I wouldn't take it personal. And so just don't take things too personal. <laughs> I would say that because at the beginning, I'm like, everyone's making fun of me. <laughs> but they were actually doing it because they liked you or exactly. they were... They felt comfortable around you exactly. to make fun of Americans. Exactly. And so that was hard at the beginning. But Australia, Western Australia was the best place for me to go because I was able to speak English, but there was still an accent that was hard to understand, but it was a different enough, different enough culture. Not the accent is hard to understand, but the sl that slang, that's what would be hard to understand. They're, they're slang, bro. It's almost a whole nother language. Culture than America for that experience that I wanted, you know. And the words are hard <laughs> at the beginning. You don't know what they're saying, especially like the strong Aussies. <laughs> and then there's a Polynesian I'm accent from New Zealand. And just be patient with that. It will come. <laughs> He legit had no idea what they're saying, bro. I've been watching Ozzy slang videos for a long time now. And I feel like I've kind of started to get used to him at this point. I started to learn a lot. And then I'll click on another and half the words I still don't know or I forgot. or It's just, yeah. I feel like to completely get Ozzy slang, you got to put yourself in Australia. You got to be in Australia talking to Australians to completely understand it. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy D Neil. Out.